Hello viewers, in this video we will learn stochastic indicator. The stochastic oscillator is a popular, widely used momentum indicator. Traders use divergence signals from the oscillator to identify possible market reversal points. However, the oscillator is prone to generating false signals. Therefore, it is best used along with other technical indicators, rather than as a standalone source of trading signals. The stochastic oscillator is an indicator that helps determine when the price of an asset is about to change direction. It does this by giving signals on whether an asset is overbought or oversold. If the asset is overbought, it could be due for reversal to the downside and if oversold, it could be due for reversal to the upside. Traders use the stochastic oscillator to help them exit existing trades before a trend change. They also use it to enter trades just as a new trend is beginning. The stochastic oscillator is displayed as two lines. The main line is called percent %K, the second line, called percent %D, is a moving average of percent %K. The misinterpretation of overbought and oversold is one of biggest problems and faults in trading. The stochastic indicator more than showing oversold or overbought prices shows momentum of the price trend. Now let's see some key points about RSI and stochastic. Stochastic and the relative strength index, RSI, are both price momentum oscillators, but each oscillator has its strengths and weaknesses regarding trading stock analysis. Depending on your trading patterns, one or the other may be a better investing signal for you. Stochastic and RSI are both useful trading signals that can help you figure out when to buy and when to let go. For markets that are sideways or very choppy and unpredictable in their movements, stochastic are more useful in determining when to buy or sell on specific stocks by predicting the points just before the stocks reverse. In contrast, the RSI is more useful to determine which stocks are trending in general. Stochastic and RSI are best used in conjunction with one another. If you're trading at relatively small increases on a choppy stock that moves within a specified range, stochastic indicator will be more useful tool to predict small, precise movements in the stock's price fluctuations. Overall, Stochastic are an excellent choice for making small gains on a relatively stable stock, rather than trying to predict a volatile stock. Now we will see buy and sell signals, but before going forward be sure to hit like button and subscribe to our channel for more knowledgeable videos. A buy signal is generated when both percent %K and percent %D lines fall and cross over below 20 or oversold level. For further affirmative signals, Traders may also wait for the percent %D line to rise above 20. Conversely, a sell signal is generated when both percent %K and percent %D lines rise and cross above the overbought level of 80. Once again, if additional confirmation is required, then traders wait for percent %D to fall below 80. It is worth noting that some traders wait for percent %K instead of percent %D to fall below the overbought level or rise above the oversold level to initiate an entry in the market. Similarly, for faster signals, traders watch the percent %K line instead of the slower percent %D line. Now let's watch stochastic strategy in trading market. Friends, many traders use stochastic in wrong way. They just buy in positive crossover and sell in negative crossover which looks very simple and profitable but in real trading market this doesn't work all the time. Just because you are buying and selling stock without knowing market trend. Friends we should never trade against the trade. Let me give you one example of this, look at this chart, a positive crossover happened at oversold levels, percent %K line crosses the percent %D line, so we buy at this candle. But let me show you that you are buying in downtrend by inserting 200 EMA to this chart. There is a possibility that price may reverse by reaching at 200 EMA. So kindly note, don't take a buy or sell trade without knowing that market is in uptrend or downtrend. And take a one more note, here it is okay to earn less money rather than take a wrong trend. So we should never go with one indicator in trending market, 
We always use at least two indicators to make our trade double sure. So we will use 200 EMA, along with stochastic indicator. So look at this chart we have 200 EMA, along with stochastic indicator, now we will look for buy setups, for buy setups we will look for two conditions, first price should be above the 200 EMA, and second stochastic would be in oversold levels. So at this point price is at above the 200 EMA, and stochastic is at oversold levels, but we would confirm the uptrend by let stochastic to reach above the 30 to 50 level. So at this candle we would take by trade, and we will put a stop loss at nearest swing low, and if you want you can put your profit target to two times to your stop loss. So at this point your profitable trade comes to an end. And if you do not want to put profit target you can continue your trade as price continues its uptrend journey. So if you are clear about buy trade, let's look for a sell trade. For sell trade again we will look for two conditions, first price should be below to 200 EMA, and second stochastic would be an overbought level. Now look at this chart, as we can see price had touched the overbought level and 200 EMA, two times and got rejected. So there is a strong possibility of downtrend on a way. So we will wait price to come down to 200 EMA, and in stochastic at negative crossover and continue to its journey at below to 50 level. So at this point both our conditions fulfilled, now watch carefully for our entry candle, at this point negative crossover happened in stochastic, but we will wait price to continue its downtrend journey to below to 50 level. We will take sell trade at this candle and you can put a stop loss at above the nearest swing high, and put a profit target two times to your stop loss. And you can see here your profitable trade ended here. And if you don't want to put a profitable target you can continue your trade and sell at this point, as stochastic started to rise from oversold level and reaches to 30 to 50 level at this candle. Let's take one more example of buy and sell trade. Now look at this chart as we can see stochastic is at oversold level, so we become alert for buy setup, and let price to go above the 200 EMA, and stochastic to rise above to 30 to 50 level, so at this candle we will look for buy trade and you can put you stop loss at nearest swing low. So if you had bought here you could had generated good profit as price continues its upward journey. Now for sell trade, look at this chart, stochastic is at overbought zone and price started its journey to below to 200 EMA. So, we will look for sell trade only. Now we will not take entry at negative cross over of stochastic. We will wait stochastic to start its downward journey and reaches below to 50 level. So at this candle we will take sell trade by putting our stop loss at nearest swing high. So, as you can see here, if we had sold here, we could had generated good profit as price continues its downtrend journey. I hope you all are clear with stochastic buy and sell strategy with the help of moving average. So, if you like the video don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to our channel.